officials investigating after human remains are found near a middle school in Vernon. Good evening, everybody. I'm Keith Coons. And I'm Ann Craig. I'm in for Ann Nyberg tonight. Now, these are the second skeletal remains found in a year and a half in that town. This time, they were found right near Vernon Center Middle School. News 8's Bob Wilson joins us live from Vernon tonight with the very latest. Bob, this is a creepy story. It, it is. Uh, the state police are on scene right now, as well as a specialist from Quinnipiac University who can do recreation, skeletal recreations, as well as the Vernon Major Crimes. They're all here. They're trying to figure out exactly what happened. It took place back in this wooded area right here, and it's a very unusual area. As you said, it's right behind the school. This is a recreational area. You can see the uh, crime scene van parked right next to the soccer fields. There's a lot of trails here. It is a block, block and a half from the PD. It's literally across the street and up a block from the police department. In some wooded areas, there are a lot of trails back there, heavily used, and police say that's how these remains were found. The remains were found by a hiker walking in this area, and it's surprised to find something like this in this area because it is so heavily used. This area is a uh, fairly well-traveled area. Um, this this portion of uh, uh, the wooded area, there are trails back there and, and things like that. Uh, I can't comment right now as to the exact location the remains were found, uh, but this uh, this is a um, area that is used uh, for for recreation. Now we're back out here live looking at the state police as they are continuing to work this case. And they're also working another case of human remains, skeletal remains found back in March 2013, about a year and a half ago. And they have been working that case. They just released a sketch of that woman recreated by a med student working at Quinnipiac University. And they re released that sketch. And at that sketch, they say they do have some good leads on that. Right now, it's still too early to tell if these cases are connected. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Vernon, News 8.